Hi everyone. Welcome to the giraffe's life. I've had like a two week break from vlogging. So why not vlog when I'm running? This video is gonna be a running tour of London. I'm already tired. We're coming up towards Buckingham Palace. So that's our number one stop on this tour of London without any people in it. So this is Buckingham Palace. There's like two people here. Completely, completely deserted. Such a weird thing. The downside to these running marathons is I have to run everything twice as far. Currently at 1.4 kilometers and at a very slow pace because I am filming this. But I just want to get out, film some stuff. I haven't made a video in a really long time, so this is one. I don't know if you heard me earlier, but I'm essentially just doing a whistle stop tour around some of the biggest London landmarks essentially and uh, start off with Buckingham Palace. I'm running uphill now, I hate running uphill, towards Piccadilly Circus and it looks like there's a lot of construction work, so that's kind of fail. I'm tired now though, I'm gonna walk a little bit. Tired from running two kilometers, but I think it's because I keep running, stopping running, running back. <sighs> I'm also very hot, I'm wearing my long sleeve jacket and a long sleeve t-shirt. Fucking hot. Oh, at least I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing double shorts. Oh. And that's Piccadilly Circus up there. I think I had too much breakfast this morning because I'm really full. It's really much fun. And I'm about to get a stitch. You don't have to, I'm on my run, but stay home, protect the NHS, save lives, go running. <laughs> so yeah, that's Leicester Square done. Now to Common Garden, slowly dying. Popular Instagram spot, no one here. minutes 37 minutes 4.44 it's currently a eight minute pace which isn't super fast but i'm also like walking and filming stuff so okay. and then we have the national gallery trafalgar square Nelson's column and we have 5.12 kilometers. I think I have maybe three kilometers home now, maybe two kilometers home. I do see Westminster Abbey from here though. I might just run embankment down. I'm going to run embankment down and then we'll do St. Paul's and Tower of London another day maybe. So yeah. 
Beach Park Square. Check. tried to get a cool scene of these birds flying away but London pigeons don't give a shit they clearly think we're extinct not very good cast are they oh well let's run London eye okay on the home stretch now got houses of parliament here with Big Ben in scaffolding and then behind that is Westminster Abbey so we're just gonna run past that and then run home I think because I'm thirsty it's hard to run with a camera and your water bottle I'm not even running now I'm not running so yeah did anyone else know that Big Ben is actually called the Elizabeth Tower because I did not I knew Big Ben was a bell on side inside but I didn't know the tower was called the Elizabeth Tower the more you know you can't really get a good view of Big Ben in Houses of Parliament because of the scaffolding. So here it is. Again, very backlit. Feels like it's going to rain any second now. So I'm going to hurry my way home before my camera gets to it. We have one more stop. Must be driving. There we have it, Westminster Abbey, last stop on this running tour. I'm gonna try and find my way home because I don't know where I am. These are the stats, 65 minutes, 7.39 and at 8.46 pace. The pace is understandable because I'm stopping and running and walking and things all at the same time. So that is the end of the run. I'm just gonna do a cool down walk. But yeah, that was a good run. It was fun to like do something different than just like run. It was about 640 calories for seven kilometers, which I guess is all right. I didn't go out like to try and do like a PB or anything. I literally went out to show you London without any people on the streets. Like, it's so weird. It is so freaking weird. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, there will be a part two where I do the other half of London um, further away so I might like cycle there run there first and then start filming once I'm there but this was part one I hope you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe to uh, see part two as well that will come in about a week's time I think um, no idea where I am at this moment but we will figure it out make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below if <laughs> this inspired you to go running but essentially this is my travel content in my own city while London is on lockdown so thanks for watching I will see you again next time with a new video until then stay safe out there and stay home bye